In this video, we're going to be going through the brand new ECG app that's on the Fitbit Sense. We're going to set it up, do a test, and check out the final report. Up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and on this channel, I do all sorts of Fitbit reviews, unboxings, tutorials, and more, so please consider subscribing. Today, we're talking about the ECG app that has just been initiated by Fitbit on my Fitbit Sense. And you'll see that I've got it right here installed. And if you don't have it installed, what you can do is actually go into your Fitbit app and you can go under your device. So you do that by going to your account in the upper left and then you'll go down on this menu until you see devices. And now we are in the settings for my Fitbit Sense. And we see the ECG app here, but if it's not popping up on your watch, you can go to apps. And then under apps, you'll see my apps and you'll see all apps. And right now under apps, I can update some things, but I do see the ECG is right here. I can go into that and read all about it. If I didn't have it, I could install it. If this isn't showing up under your apps, you can go to all apps and then just search for that ECG app. And then once you search for that, you'll be able to install it. Let's just see here if I can do that real quick, ECG. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he briefly pops up somewhere during the video. If you happen to spot him popping up, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into the video that you saw him pop up and be the first person to let me know that down in the comments section below along with your best comment. You'll get your name and your YouTube channel if you have one featured on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page. Okay, so there it is, ECG. And if I click on that again, it takes me back to that menu showing that it's installed. But if you didn't have it installed from this point, this would say install. You click that and that will install it onto your watch. All right, so from this point, once it is installed, uh, we can go back a couple of menus here. I'm actually going to go back to my main dashboard. And we've been kind of doing everything uh, through the profile icon. If you scroll down, you can get stats for all sorts of other uh, different readings and senses that it's taken. And right now we're under the Fitbit today. If you actually go to Discover, as you scroll down, you'll see different, uh, different areas that you can go into. We've got Featured, Guided Programs, Challenges and Adventures, and then we have Assessments and Reports. And under assessments and reports, you'll see that it says check your ECG, your heart rhythm assessment. And if we click on that, this gives you a whole, a whole area here where it talks about the 30 second on wrist assessment that we're going to do in the ECG app. And if I go into that, that's going to start this up. It says here, set up on your phone, open your Fitbit app and go to the discover tab. Hey, look at that. We just did that. Find assessments and reports. So just to let you guys know that this detects irregular heart rhythm and it can affect your health, uh, an irregular heart rhythm. It kind of tells you here that it'll analyze your heartbeat for signs of atrial uh, fibrillation. And uh, this is something that uh, you can just use as a tool. It says only a doctor can diagnose AFib, but your Fitbit device can let you know if your heart rhythm has signs of the condition. And then it goes a little bit more into detail here about what AFib is, possible symptoms. And if we are ready to get started, we can go to Get Started. So before you continue, this assessment only analyzes for signs of an irregular heart rhythm. Please confirm the following. So I have to confirm that I'm 22 years old. I don't have a pacemaker. I understand this assessment can't detect heart attack, blood clots, stroke, or other heart conditions. And I understand this assessment isn't a diagnosis. So I am gonna confirm. I guess if I didn't meet this criteria, I could leave the assessment, but I'm gonna confirm. And then it kind of goes through how it's going to work and the rhythm of your heart, uh, the rhythm that your heart makes can be detected by the electrical sensors on your Fitbit device. This data is analyzed for signs of AFib, an irregular heart rhythm. So we're going to click through next. Uh, it shows here results that I might see normal sinus rhythm, AFib, inconclusive. And again, 
this assessment is not a diagnosis. Um, they want you to actually have that done by a doctor, but this is kind of a sign to give you like a heads up or a warning. So we'll go into next and it gives you a video here of what to do, but we're actually going to do that. So let's jump back to the uh, ECG. So with the Fitbit Sense on my wrist, I have it on now and I'm going into the ECG. Take heart rhythm assessment. So I'm going to click on ready. It's going to ask me which wrist my watch is on. It's on my left. Have a seat. Try to relax and keep your hands still. So I'm going to say I'm sitting. And I'm going to put my index finger and my thumb on the metal corners. The Fitbit Sense has this metal ring going all the way around it. And this is different from like the Versa 3 that they just released. Uh, if you want to find out more in-depth information on the Fitbit Sense, I've done a full in-depth tutorial review on setup as well as the rest of uh, the Fitbit Sense. So you can check that out. There'll be a link down in the description. But we are going to put our fingers on here and keep your hands still. So this counts down for the 30 seconds. I kind of feel like there should be some Jeopardy music or something playing in the background while I'm doing this. 30 seconds, what can you do in 30 seconds? I know for the uh, virus you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds. So I, I guess I'd already be done with that by now. Here, data collected. All right, so then it's going to analyze that data. And it is saying that I uh, have normal sinus rhythm. Whew. Well, that's a relief. Uh, my heart rhythm appears normal. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. Don't change your medications based on this result. This app can't detect heart attack, blood clots, stroke, or other heart conditions. If you think you're having a medical emergency, call emergency services. And it says here, download a PDF of your result from the Fitbit mobile app. So we can learn more about AFib, otherwise I'm just gonna hit done. That takes me back to the menu on the watch. Let's jump over to my phone. From this point, uh, if we go back to that Discover tab and we can check my ECG. So now what I see is this is actually updated, but now it shows that I had a normal sinus rhythm uh, from the test that I just did, and I can click on that. And then from here, it gives me the information. Your heart rhythm appears normal. If I click on more, Gives me more, basically the same information that it gave me on the watch. Tells me that my beats per minute was 83, which is average. What's next? This app can't detect it. It says the same thing again. Um, but down here, I can export a PDF for my doctor, or I can view past results. So let's export a PDF for my doctor. Exporting a PDF, you'll get a push notification. Your assessment is ready, check it out. All right, so let's go to view. And if you're getting some value out of this video right now, take a second, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. And I can download it or I can share it. Uh, let's go to download. So I'm on a Google Pixel 3, but I am gonna go down here to search and go to files. And that brings up files. Uh, it said it was putting it in my internal downloads. So I have downloads, but actually what I want to do is scroll down. I see internal storage. And if I click on that, uh, I do see download, and it says two minutes ago. Um, up top here, I can sort. Oop, that's selecting all. We don't want to do that. I can click those. I can go to sort by and newest date first. And I see right here that it has, so whatever the report is going to generate, it's going to be titled your name, and then it'll say ECG report, and that's from today. So if I click on that, uh, on Android, it doesn't know how to open it here. So let's do it with the Dropbox PDF viewer, since I have Dropbox. You'll need some sort of way of viewing this. There it is, there's the PDF and it's kind of showing my normal sinus rhythm. Uh, it's actually showing me all sorts of information about the uh, reading that it just did and it timed me for 30 seconds. So it starts at zero and as you can see, as we go along the chart, it's going by second. 
So all the way through that 30 seconds, line by line, you can see the pattern of my uh, heart rhythm assessment. So that's pretty cool. And then at the bottom, it just gives a little bit more information here on how it works. Uh, we analyze data collected by the electrical sensors on your Fitbit device to determine if you have a normal sinus rhythm or an irregular heart rhythm. And then purpose and performance, a convenient way to detect AFib. This is not a diagnosis. Our proprietary algorithm has been tested in a clinical study. So that's pretty cool. That is the PDF that gets generated, and then you can share that. You can save that, download it. I suppose you could print it on a piece of paper if you want. So if you didn't want to share that with your doctor or take that information somewhere else, you can do that. So I'm interested to know, what do you guys think of the ECG app on the Fitbit Sense? How do you plan on using it? What do you think of the report that it generates? Let me know down in the comments section below. So the Fitbit Sense gives you a lot of information. I have found that with some of the sleep tracking, the stress tracking, all of that stuff. You get more information with the Fitbit Premium program. I've got a video that's going to be coming out uh, soon that is going to show the difference of the data and information you get using just the regular Fitbit program versus uh, what data and information you get using Fitbit Premium. So if you don't want to miss that, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell. You'll get notified every time I release new videos. My name is Jeff. This is tinker forward as always i appreciate you guys watching be sure to make every day awesome and i will see you guys in the next video